starting right in with the business community. Again, now affordable housing is economic development. That's one of the discussions that's actually included in the report. We start in with the fact that there are 199,000, almost 200,000 people who commute into Westchester who do not live here, but they commute into work here. That's more than the number of people who live and work in Westchester, but not nearly as much, but close to the number of people who are commuting out, because obviously we're so close to New York City, there are certainly great employment opportunities in New York City. We have nearly 90,000 people living in poverty. This, is an, th this number has grown by almost 14% since 2000. It, again, there's still tremendous need all throughout the county. We also looked at housing problems. So severely overcrowded units, that's where we have more than one and a half persons per room in, in, in an apartment. Um, and so we have 4,500 units that are considered severely overcrowded. And we have um, 25, over 2,500 units that are substandard, meaning they don't have working kitchens or bathrooms within their units. Uh, but the greatest need, the greatest housing problem in Westchester is our severely cost burdened. And so these are the households, over 72,000 of them, where they are paying more than 50% of their income toward their housing costs. And this is both, by the way, rental and home ownership. So there are a lot of senior citizens, particularly in Westchester County, that are house rich but income poor. So they are paying more than 50% of their income to maintain that home. Because the door is open to all the communities for developing affordable housing, not just targeting those that had not, you know, done, quote, unquote, their fair share previously, we think we're going to see a certain amount of interest in doing that. There's some communities like Peekskill and Yonkers that have been aggressive about trying to do some of these things, and Port Chester is another one that falls in that category. Romantic Village over the years has done some. So we think we're going to get a positive response out of that. We'll see what kind of units uh, that, that we think are possible. There is also an effort underway, uh, and, and it's an ongoing effort, to work with those developers who are doing transit-oriented development to try to get them to carve out a certain number of affordable units within the projects they're doing. Now, sometimes it's not a very large number, and that certainly can't be the main focus of what we're doing. But you have this in Harrison with a Metro North development that's right down by the train station. And because transit-oriented development is so popular these days, you know, the folks who work in the city can just hop on the train. It's just like being on a subway stop in an outer borough. Uh, we think there's a certain demand that comes to us to do certain things, and maybe it's incentivized to the IDA or whatever, and that that will be a source of it. Ultimately, we will be dealing with every community, and we think we have at least a framework to have a, a, a serious discussion with every community in the county without coming in with a heavy stick.